WGLNA week two for season two. I'm Clutch, joined by Grief Torp and Rukil. We saw a fantastic series recapping versus No Limit. No Limit takes it, which Rukil just informed us means they have seven league points compared to Reek Havoc's six. Whoa. They are they're top of the world right now. Yeah. Three and one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but they do have the most matches played. So, no, they're not three and one. Excuse me. They're three and two. Three and two. So they have the most matches played at the same time. Mm -hmm. Whereas Reek Havoc, I think they're one series behind. Yep. So They're two and two. They are one series behind. Uh, if, uh, well, if Reek Havoc is able to win their next match, it'll be the tie or surpass. No Limit fought every night last week. <laughs> that <laughs> is every brutal, night. man. That is brutal. <laughs> brutal, but... But uh, I, I'm happy for their win, but Reek Havoc obviously not out of the running yet. And I think maybe these two may uh, may see each other uh, again in Vegas. Yep. Could be a possibility. And uh, some quick matches this the, the first Indeed. two. Indeed. But so now it's nice. We get to slow down a little bit as we move over to Simp Main. That's right. Simp Main versus River of Blood. Now, River of Blood did join us in Vegas last time. Ah. And <laughs> I see what you did there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So River of Blood is currently 0-2. and two. They had their first loss against Hammer Time and their first two losses against Hammer Time and Simple Tankers. Hammer Time, again, a new team, so we didn't know how they would perform in the league setting, but they're doing very well. Simple Tankers, one of the top teams so far in the league. Simp, the number two team in North America, placed second place, took home $25,000. So uh, a tough team to beat for River of Blood. But let's go ahead and jump into the face-off of Simp versus River of Blood. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey guys. Give me one minute, guys. One minute. I need to warm up for this face-off. Just one second. One second, guys. I need to practice my body with this. I was that's that's <laughs> Endo, everyone. All right, there's one. Yeah. He's, he's doing the uh, the weak side wow. pull-ups. Wow. That's like 80 pounds he's lifting there. <laughs> 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 All right, River of Blood, I'm going to start with you as Endo finishes up here. He's going to be able to aim here. in this match now. His arms are going to be jello. <laughs> The response time is going to be low. Oh. All right, impressive. <laughs> impressive. I'm ready. All right, Endo. That was great. My body is ready. All you got to do is fix your webcam. There you go. All right, River of Blood, Captain Blood, we're going to start with you. Tough losses so far, 0-2. and two. You guys, you had a lot of fun in Vegas. You are one of the teams that uh, we were very impressed with with the, with the professionalism and also your personality. We always love to see you on face-offs. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings coming into week number two? Uh, well, we're like the bad news bears. I mean, last season we started out kind of poor, but you guys know it's hard to get rid of us, so uh, we're going to keep plodding forward, and, you know, I think we can get there still. Yeah, I mean, we'll there's, keep it goes pretty deep. You get to fifth, you still get a playoff. we got a lot of teams left that I think we can take down, so uh, I still feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. All right, good. It was only week number one. As we start week number two, have you been scrimmaging with your team? Have you made any changes? Have you had to pretty much break them down and say, hey, guys, here's what we need to do differently in order to make it to Vegas again? Uh, a little bit. I mean, we've we've practiced a lot, uh, a lot more than for first season. Um, and we've been, I, ke I keep saying we're, we're winning the battles, but we're losing the wars. Uh, you know, we, we, we win that first engagement, we crush our way in, and then we're like, oh, wait, they're capping. Or, or now, you know, they're scattered. And, we, you know, the second part of our organization has been uh, faltering. So that's definitely where we need to uh, pick it up. All right. All right. Well, if there's one night to do it, it is tonight because you'll be facing Simp Endo, the team representative joining us here. Always charismatic. I've known Endo <laughs> for a while here. And uh, even having a, a YouTube video of him crashing through a wall and killing a tank, how excited I get. People are like, that's just Endo. He does it every day. But Endo, how are you feeling for your team? You had a good week one, week number two. You guys doing well? Uh, we're doing pretty good. We've been practicing a lot. But um, Simple Tapers gave us a pretty good scare in that first first game there. I mean, uh, going to a shootout. Yeah, weren't weren't ready for that, but it was a wake-up call. We're pretty focused now. I did bring that up last week. Did that jumble up your team a little bit? Do you think uh, we almost lost to Simple Tankers and we only got one point out of a shootout? What did you have to do differently now to prepare for the rest of week one and now into week two? Uh, we just scheduled some more practices and just kind of uh, got some things out of the way, but we mainly that was mainly simple takers just giving us really great games. So we got to give credit to them. Simple takers really showed up and and gave us a good uh, surprise there. But uh, just not too much though. We had to change. <laughs> you know, with me on the team, we're gonna win almost every game. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm sure River of Blood's going to give you a run for your money, but we're going to find out in this battle. Yeah. Do you have any words for River of Blood before we start this match? Do I have any words for them? Yeah. Oh, uh, come at me, brah. YOLO, YOLO, Watermelon Swag Boss. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain Blood, any response? It, he's, okay, he's, first of all, he's very devious. He, he got me into a cookie clicker trying to give me a purple <laughs> tunnel this week. And you don't, if you don't know what it is, click. don't find out. Do not find out what it is. It's just silly. But, cookie uh, clicker, best game. I have 30 billion cookies a second. You know, he has really good stats, I admit. Uh, he, he is most carried player NA top stat. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever watch him stream, he has this little box he pops up when he's between people that carry me. Just look at that box. It's Most people, it's a friend's box, but not endo, not endo. So I think... Uh, I think as long as uh, if the team can carry him, they deserve it. But I think uh, I'm going to make sure we're going to smash him. I, I told my whole team to kill him first so that we, we ruin his damage stats. He'll hate that. <laughs> oh, no, bro, no, bro. Rico, you better hide in the back. I got my lucky glasses on. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. All right, Simp, you have the higher seed. You get to call the coin. Heads or tails? Tails never fails. You're going for tails. Flip the coin. It is heads. Oh. Fails oh. this time. Captain Blood, you have map choice or deferral? I'll defer. Defer Endo, oh, what is your map choice? We're going to go with Cliff. We're going to go with Cliff. And what will yeah. be your spawn position, Captain Blood? We'll go south. South side for River of Blood on Cliff. Simple tank the north side. Gentlemen, always good to see you. Best of luck and have fun. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> you know, the funny story about Endo, we were doing a quick interview with him and Mac G after they won, I believe, in the round of four, making it to the finals in Las Vegas. And we're ready to do the interview, and Endo is shouting across the way, going, hey, my glasses! My glasses! I was like, dude, you don't need your sunglasses. We're inside. The interview's ready. Let's go, Endo. Let's go. And he's ignoring me. And I'm like, dude, this is not how live production works. You have to get over here as talent. You know, you just won. And Mac G's like, Endo, come on, man. Come on. And I was like, I need my glasses and my lucky glasses. But he got him after the battle. He still clearly <laughs> has his lucky glasses. But uh, a lot of fun. He is a yeah. barrel of... Something. Yeah, <laughs> They're a last for some people. But. Captain Blood, man. That guy, I swear he could be a stand-up comedian. It's like yeah. instantly when Endo started to do that, like just busted out jokes all over the place. That yeah. guy's so funny. I got the chance to talk to him a lot in Vegas. Just a pleasure, a pleasure to talk to and uh, and honestly to learn from. Yeah, I, I agreed with what Endo said because I brought that up last week, and I'll repeat it again here. Simple Tankers, very well-performing team in Las Vegas. And now they brought Simp to the brink. Yeah. You in, know what? It's only. One. Do you know what it feels like? It feels like their run against Fulcrum Gaming just revitalized the whole team and gave them so much confidence to mm -hmm. say, wow, we're a lot closer than we ever thought we were to the top tier teams in North America and <laughs> in the world. And I feel like that's what it really comes down to. Fulcrum Gaming, I heard from so many teams. So many players last season, oh my gosh, we were so nervous against them. Oh my gosh, we didn't know what to do. We just went into a battle and we just weren't able to call things. And now that they have more experience with these top tier teams, they're starting to say, wow, we are not nearly as far away as we thought we were. That's very true. It was a, a measuring stick for their team. That's right. And when you can consider yourself that talented, you start treating yourself, you know, hey, I exactly. am this talented, you know, I do deserve this. Deal. Yeah. And that really does give you a lot of motivation to put in the extra hours, to put in the extra effort, to stay on top of your game. And that's definitely happened to Simple Tankers. Unfortunately, they do not have Junior. Junior is now at the studio working full time to make sure we have an well, excellent production. Well, I mean, and he, he's in he's the clouds still, now. Yeah, but he still coaches them yeah. here and there. But uh, the type of leadership that he brought to the team and his intricate knowledge of tanks uh, helped them get to where they are today. But he's still a part. He's still a part of their lives, whether they like it or not. He's still there. Yeah, and he, I think he always will. I mean, he's just that dedicated, not only here at the office, but to his team, I hear him talking to them all the time. He's always talking about strats, talking about different Telling things. Telling them how bad life. they executed something. Yeah. Like, but we won. But yeah, you won, but it was still really bad. But that's that's <laughs> the type of coaching that you need. If yeah. I see bad play, whether you win or lose, I'm going to call it out. You know, I used to coach uh, my one friend Huang Sin back in StarCraft 2. He's a Korean player. And I would say, I don't care that you won. You looked really, really bad tonight. And you have to be, um, you have to be kind of indiscriminate to wins and losses. Every game you play, you want to be able to win that $50,000 first place prize. That's the sure. type of play you have to bring to these games. And that's what these teams are going to need to do even to make it to Las Vegas. And as a reminder, if you want to join us for Las Vegas, November 16th and 17th at Treasure Island. We had a lot of fun in Season 1. More details will be released at WGLNA.com. And that was actually my first time in Vegas. I loved it. 
loved it. I hardly and got to do anything even, except tanks. Yeah. Do you, well, you went to the club once, right? Didn't you? Uh, I went over to the Venetian. I went over to the Venetian. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for battle number one. Simp is River Blood. We are changing things up, guys. We know that the early game stages are really important, so we're going to take a look at the tank pick before the countdown has elapsed. Three 1390s, a T69, and an IS-34 simp main on the other side. Two T69s and three 1390s for River of Blood. Very light mobile lineup. Let's find out how these early game scouts work out as we move into beginning stages of this match. The blue team will be Simp. The red team will be River of Blood, fitting for that team. Captain Blood will be leading the charge in his 1390. And different variables we've seen with the tank lineups. Uh, we've seen some tank destroyers being used here. But this is going to be that mobile aggression, uh, except for that IS-3 on the side of Simp. A little bit of a slower tank, but fast enough for a, he a heavy to get to the front line quickly and to deal some serious alpha damage. Savage in his 1390 will be leading the charge for River of Blood here and they will be creeping up that corner. Blazzy uh, took an opposite route when we saw them get shut down against uh, uh, against that team. I believe it was game Pub over. Stars. Or was it? No, excuse me, it was Pub Stars, yes. But now here's Blue Boy's captain taking that approach, and he does see Savagey. Savagey turning his turret over to the 1390s from further away, does not engage with Blue Boy's right. captain up to the top of the mountain. Heavy 20 and Endo have gone all the way to the west side. They're looking to get great crossfire onto the group, the, the gaggle of tanks that exist in the center of the map. We'll see if that happens as they are lining up the shots. This is looking dangerous. Shots will connect. Heavy 20. He does connect against Savage G, 858 of 1100, and now more shots ringing out against Dot Golem. 1118 one, one, out of 1350 for his tank. Dopper taking the brunt force of that damage from Endo and the rest of his teammates around that corner. This is going to be an HP victory right now for Simp against River of Blood. But River of Blood is still in the fight, and Laps could start to charge around the corner to see where is the rest of Simp and could set up a flank. However, MacG is in a great position for his tank to stop that. Now, here's the push, the aggression yes. from Savagey and the rest of his teammates up against the T-69 and the IS-3. Savagey gets tracked, though, and he'll be the first to fall as Doc Golem and Dopper, along with Captain Blood, are trying to get the surround on oh, Simp. Oh, no, and Dopper's going to go down there. 1390s, Heavy 20, and Endo are again putting on easy shots onto all their opponents. And down will go Captain Blood pretty soon here. He's down to 44 hit points. And this is just a pile of blood. It is indeed. Canada Duck will be the next one to fall out of 49 hit points. So oh, no, Adroxus is down 86. Doc Golem tries to get another hit against him, and he does. But he falls to Sing as Blue Boy's Captain cleans up the remaining of the Tier 8s here. Sing now can push up against this L1 Laps. And Arg will be the other one. He might try to hide to go for the draw, which is no quite time. possible, but yeah. there won't be enough time now. here. There's still three quarters of the match left. And uh, this is a pretty easy win here for Simpmain. I'm not sure. I I'm actually incredibly confused of what River of Blood was doing in this battle. Uh, I just didn't see a clear execution, a clear plan coming out from them. They charged up the center, and they just stayed there. Uh, maybe, Rukil, you can give us some insight? It was, it was the correct answer. And I was thinking about saying that for a minute when I saw the, the layout of Simp. They should have done it like 30 seconds earlier because Endo and Mac should have been reloaded. And if they weren't, they were also out of position. So if if after it was it needed to be an immediate reaction, you see that IS-3, you see the, the T-69 in the middle, jump on those immediately. Blue Boys is on his way up the hill. He's out of position. Mac's out of position. Endo's out of position. You get two, you get a full just overmatch and an isolation. But they still have crossfire on all of them. Not well, if you they did had it 30 to poke seconds earlier. Yeah, and they had to poke further out from the rocks. That's why they were trying to push yeah. in further out on that flank, but it didn't stop at all. I kind of feel like, um, you know, the 1390s going out to the west side, they're always able to get good crossfires. Uh, they will be there even 30 seconds before, and then they get to dictate whether they push up or not. And I felt like get, still maintaining the crossfire, uh, it, it's relatively easy. They can go around the big donut or they can just go uh, the other way counterclockwise and then meet up for the crossfire i don't know it's just uh, i didn't feel like there was anything really wrong with uh with simp main's lineup or not lineup but their positioning i just felt like there's nothing that river of blood could have done 
just sitting in the center. Even the overmatch doesn't make sense because you don't have a crossfire advantage. Yep, it was landing those shots and that HP value dwindled for River of Blood in the first minute or yeah. so. And because of that, Simp had the advantage and pushed the advantage once River of Blood activated. But there's not even a HP advantage either. I mean, even with the shots that went off, a single IS-3 represents a one more shot than that T-69. Oh, that is true. You know, that so. is true. Well, maybe it's just the confidence of, hey, if they're going to come at us, we can take them down. And that's what happened. Let's take a quick break. We come back. Battle number two, River Blood versus Simp. After this. Similar lineups, but not exactly. 350-100s and two IS-3s against 250-100s and three IS-3s. The IS-3 advantage going to River of Blood. Of course, the 5100s advantage going to Sim to me. And the north side will be River of Blood, Sim to the south. And here we go. The push shot has begun. And wow, River of Blood's going to go hill. So what I said, reverse it <laughs> with the teams. <laughs> yeah, that, that's looks... what you meant to say, right? No, it's not. Okay. I knew exactly what I meant to say. No. But okay. uh, same strat out of what oh, we saw last. <laughs> but this, it's, it's what I predicted. It's just the opposite teams. Yeah, and just trusting the field this time. This is we saw this against. Uh, it was Casadores. Casadores. This yeah. was the one. That was the first one. Yeah, that they Rando won? was in a great place up in the northern courtyard. They're trying to distract one of the yeah. IS threes. Try to land some shots on him. But they push in for the flank with the isolation against those two IS threes. Got the kill and then clean up the rest of the team. This I do was remember that. The last match. Of Casadores versus Simposaurus Rex. Uh, end of story. Close out the series. In the qualifiers. And here we go. We have the parade of tanks. Three IS-3s and two of the 5100s coming up to the hillside here. Laps in the tank alley. We'll see Mac G. Does Laps know not to activate the Mac attack? Looks like he does. He won't be going for any kills yet. Uh, oh. But Mac G will be going for the courtyard side and will be hugging up against one of the buildings there. Now it's very critical. Oh, he's going all in. That I think that the entire River of Blood team should not look out and peek out on that uh, on that G line. They don't want it to I give I away really the position. Yes, exactly that. They should not be looking in that direction. If you just face your turret the other direction, I do believe that it won't actually spot things out, so nobody will have that sixth sense. And here we go, Mac engaging on laps. And Mac is able to get it, which means that River Blood wow. still has a chance. Max tanking has increased. All right, Mac. He's actually winning T1 v T1 <laughs> engagements. <laughs> wow, Mac. Here's the reset, though, from River of Blood. They're going to go wow. back to their base here. As they saw, Mac G had crossed that threshold past the courtyard. But yeah. Canada Duck is not going to fully commit yet. He's going to wait to cover the rest of the advancement for the 5100s and the IS-3s down to the northern side. And they are still not going to see anything at ARG. Is not able to spot anything on his side in Mac that remaining. And he's one. actually going to spot oh, it out. Oh, he does see Mac G. And wow. Singh gets the hit. Shots fired, and they do land. Wow. As no more T1s are available, Mac G at less than half health. And Dopper and the rest of his crew are going to activate defense mode probably, waiting for Simp to push in, which is probably not going to be the case here. Actually, I Mac might so. spot out Savage, Dopper, uh, Doc Golem here in a sec. He could. He's pushing to that and window there side. You'll see it. And boom, the 5100 fires along with Doc Golem. Doc Golem gets the kill. Dopper may be reloading. Uh, I probably should have waited for the IS-3 to get the kill, but you know what? The guarantee kill is more important since the rest of the heavy tanks are not seen yet. Dopper in the 5100 is going to be cruising around this corner. Captain Blood already has vision across the way. And he has performed very well in this 5100. And he's going to be moving a little bit, a little bit slow down Tank Alley. And now Simp is going to get some serious map control and corner River of Blood. And this is a tough position. Heavy 20 putting out shot. He misses, but he Savage G lands shot. his shot, though, against yeah. Heavy 20. 11 29 to 1500 on that HP. Kind of feel like this is a Simp advantage, of course, with the extra T1 and so much positional control. But we'll see if they can brawl against their opponents and do everything right. The Drox is over here in the front reverse angling down that seven line getting good uh, or potentially good shots captain blood will peek out and oh my goodness captain blood was shoving his butt out there really easy shot for a Droxus. yeah trying to activate some reverse angling here to have those bounds happen on his tank but uh gonna be difficult here as they have him in their sights he's dancing back and forth 
to see if he can draw any more fire from Simp. Nothing yet is landing, but Sing is spotted. Dot Golem and Savagey may try to land some hits of their own down that way, but nope, Sing is too far, too well hidden behind those buildings. And now Crimson Corsair in the T1 will be coming into the from the hill, actually, down the zero line to spot. For the rest of Simp, they know the locations of many three, of these River of Blood tankers. Three of the tanks, Doc Golem, Captain Blood, and Canada Doc have been spotted the T1, painting targets like a laser. Very well done from Crimson in a good spot. And now Savage is going to have to move in against that T1 for the kill, trying to line up the shot. Nothing available yet. And if he is spotted trying to make that hit, Simp will know that turret is not in place to get the kill. But now here is the Look try. This, the gonna push. be a try push. No, it's just gonna be dual right now. Doc Golem takes some hits on his side in the IS3. Unloaded upon comes Singh in the 5100. One more shot. Singh misses, however, but there is the final kill. The final blow. It's a lot of wasted shots out of Simp. Uh, there's a chance here for River Blood to turn this fight around. It depends on how they handle it. Yeah, it depends on how they handle it. Indeed, Savagey backing away from more of the fire into the frying pan as the IS-3 Adroxis along with Heavy-20 are unloading upon him as the T-1 tries to get some fire. One more shot against Savage. He will go down. Canada Duck tries to screen right in front of him with the block, but Singh comes in and is 5100 and will get that final shot. And now Canada Duck is trying to get some remaining shots into what is left of the Husk of Adroxis. He does. Canada Duck tries to get another shot into the rest of the blue team, but does not happen. Blue Boy's captain is able to clean that up. Dopper, the only one left alive, he will fall in just a matter of moments. Right, everybody actually rushing to save Heavy 20 from dying. Ooh, Heavy 20 actually shoots Blue Boy's captain. Really unfortunate, but Dopper, just in the, uh, the matter of time. I think he's even clipping right now, or he's going to be clipping pretty soon. Yes, he is clipping. And the rest of the team are going to keep an eye on him. <laughs> as soon as they reload, he's going to go down so another simp main win and i have to say this execution of the advantage and the eventual push was brilliantly done i mean they just slowly strangled their opponents didn't rush it got the right concave and from there just had a crossfire advantage simp, simp takes it man simp not camping as much <laughs> this nope. time no river blood going for the hill play and I'm going to have to get Rukil's thoughts on that because when the T1 fought MACG and they saw the position of MACG so far into their side of the map, should they have reset like that or should they have moved forward? That's a strange decision to make, actually. You can decide to move forward, River Blood. The risks involved are the enemy camps, caps you out. That's what happens. You could also split. We could have seen that out of River Blood, which, if detected, would have also forced a split out of Simp, who, because you could send 5100s back to cap, and if you send 5100s back to cap from River of Blood, maybe you can hold off a cap long enough for your own tanks that went to your enemy's cap, sim uh, Simp's cap, to maybe actually get a cap win. And that's a weird, that we've seen that actually work before on Himmelsdorf. It really depends on your team, your play style, and what you're comfortable with at that time. The most comfortable thing that uh, River Blood uh, did was actually return all to base. It's smart, It's and it also has a chance to deflect any aggression but in this case, you saw they failed to actually adapt to any push that Simp made. Simp waited it out, and smartly done by them. Instead of going all in, they, they held their cards to their chest to then activate what they needed to because they had that T1 in place. Let's go ahead and take a qu uh, quick commercial break. We come back. Battle number three. Simp could take it 3-0, or River of Blood could have one of the biggest comebacks of all time. Stay tuned. You're watching WGLNA. WGLNA and a happy Thursday night to you. We're having a lot of fun here with World of Tanks. We're going to jump right into ends battle number three of Simp versus River of Blood. Let's battle. What do we have for tanks, Andre? Two fifty one hundred, two IS threes, and an object four sixteen. On the other side, River of Blood is sporting two fifty one hundred and three IS threes. The object four sixteen. Does it have four hundred meter view range? The object four sixteen, no. No, what is well um I don't remember off the top of my head. It's it's sufficient. We know that. It is that much. sufficient. 
Most, All right. most Russian tanks don't have Whoa! Yeah, River of Blood so. coming out with some aggression from the north side okay. and the red. To the south, we have Simp. River of Blood trying to close the distance here. All tanks staying together except for the two tier ones. Trying to see if anything's coming towards their flag area. Nothing yet has been spotted. But River of Blood, they have been known for their aggression in the past. They became a more well-rounded team in Season 1, which allowed them to get to Vegas. But this could be that bloodlust that they have activated so many times in Season 1. To get some serious kills. But I now it know. is stopped, though. Doc Golem now going to lead the charge. The call has been made to push. Oh, no. I don't know if this is going to go very well. It might be just like what we saw out of the Nerve versus Simp last season, where Nerve pushed up a similar push up the 3 4 line, and it was just met perfectly and dismantled perfectly. River of Blood. We'll find out. Oh, Mac G will scout out Doc Golem, and this is already. Uh, and Captain already, Blood. Captain Blood yeah, is also spotted. Ooh, shots fired from Savage and against the T1. Them. It does miss. But now here comes Captain Blood. He does take a hit to the front of his IS-3. Will he get return fire against Simp? No, he will not. He will back up and wait as Savage will hold the line in his IS-3. And the flank will be set up. Doc Golem leading the charge in his Yosef Stalin 3. And the two AMX 5100s will close in from behind. Mac G not in the same position. He won't see that flank. But Adroxus will. However, Simp trying to land a couple more shots into what okay. remains of this River is, of Blood, but Captain Blood gets the kill. This is good. Canada will be able to get a lot of his shots out. The 5100s, remember this fight, they have enough DPM. And now Simp's going to overmatch 4v3 against Dopper, Doc Holm, and Canada as Savage and Captain Blood are still trying to go around behind. Yeah, this is a little bit dicey. Canada will go down. I'm not sure how many shots he was able to put out. Dopper now able to put out the majority of his shots. And Adroxus, and one more shot, down he goes. Doc Golem is now out and about alone. Where are the other two tanks? They're still circling, trying to get shots on everybody else. This is perfect tanking out of Simp Main. The hesitation and also the blocking from Doc Golem and Canada Doc is what led to their defeat here. Um, if they do go down, Savagey trying to land a couple more shots in his IS-3. Captain Blood takes a hit to his front. Blue Boy's captain almost has full HP, only losing six HP and he and Blue Boy's Captain does take down Captain Blood. Savagey gets the revenge kill against Adroxus. It's oh, wow. Sing versus Savagey, but there's no, more than just Sing. Sing. Blue Boy's two T1s right now. Yeah. As Sing very intelligently said, okay, well, those T1s probably only have one thing to do, and that is to go cap. They're already outmat overmatched Mac G. Let's go ahead and just defend against this. Sing doing some little dance in there, and he's going to be reloaded. And taking out both one T1s. shot left on the remaining tier eight one of the remaining tank and who will take the cake blue boys captain fires it is a bounce endo crashes into him and destroys savagey simp takes it three zero a decisive victory <laughs>